Okay, let's try that again. This is my new tablet. It's a Fieldbook K80 made by Logic Instrument. Here's the little manual for it. And we're also going to do a quick thing on this phone, too. Um, this tablet is really cool because it is built to military spec. Uh, it's got the, what's the figure? Um, basically about water resistance. Um, and shock resistance. It's not waterproof, but one of the really cool things I like about it is it's got a direct actual full-size USB port along with the regular micro USB. And as you can see, I've got my flash drive in there. You can go into files, and there's my flash drive right there. I mean, pretty cool. You don't have to have an on-the-go cable, although it did come with one, so... With that, you'd have full-size USB ports. I don't know if there's root for it or not, um, but I wanted to do a quick overview of this because there's hardly any info on these. It's got your HDMI port and your audio out there. These little covers snap closed to keep it waterproof. It's got a 2-megapixel camera on the front and 5-megapixel on the back. NFC. It's got GPS. I know it's got the GLONASS, the, which is used over in Russia. It may also have Bidou, Bidou, the Chinese one. I'm not for sure. The chipset supports it. I don't know if the tablet does yet. i got to run my GPS app on there and see. On the other side, we have micro SD and a SIM card. Let me try to flip this up so you can see it a little better. SIM card slot so you can use data on it. Um, and then like a docking connector over there. It also... Funny, as I can talk right in my words, has a barcode scanner on it, which I thought was kind of neat. Which just inputs everything as text, like off the keyboard. So it'll actually do QR codes and stuff too. You know me with barcode scanners. That was actually an afterthought. I was looking at the item description after I bought it and saw that, and I was like, "Well, that's kind of neat." But it's supposed to be waterproof, basically up to like a meter into the water. One, one and a half meters. It's about three feet in the water for a short period of time. So if you dropped it in a puddle or something, it should be fine. Um, it's fairly solid. I can actually, I got this little scale down here. I can actually weigh it. But I want to say it's probably about two pounds. Um, let's see. With the charger and everything, let's see just what it weighs. I'm guessing about two pounds. Uh, almost. Kind of neat. So, um, it needs to be charged. It's almost dead. Um, and as for this phone, we'll do it real quick. This is a Sonom XP6. This is unlocked. I wanted a better, I wanted an unlocked phone. And I don't do a whole lot of stuff other than texting and yes you have to use this to text or you can use the Google keyboard but it is an Android phone um, and this is very similar to this it's very durable very um, tough I mean it's water resistant to about the same depth it's got closed covers the only downfall is I just got a text the only downfall is it doesn't have an SD card slot so there's only like six gigs of storage on it so it's it's great for just a phone but um i like it it's also got the push to talk feature which i use with um the app called oh dang it what is it a uh, zello is the name of the app okay it's going crazy probably because i just added this new device onto google and google's like oh new device security alert security alert type of thing but yep i wanted to make a quick video on this i think it's pretty durable just from the 15-20 minutes I've had it so far. It seems very solidly built. And the company seems like a good company. Not just like a Chinese fly-by-night company. It's a Logic Instrument field book. And um, got this off of eBay. It was brand new in the box. Still had the protective wrapper on it and everything. It's got a strap on the back. And a powered stylus that takes one of those little quadruple A batteries that you don't see very much but 
I don't use the stylus very much. I know where to get the battery, so it's not that hard, but there you go. Hope you like it. Thought it was pretty cool. This is going to be my primary for Android stuff, and then this is going to be basically a phone. So, if I'm down at the creek, out camping, drop it in the river, it'll survive. So, thanks for watching.